Fear is a basic human emotion. What frightens you more? The evil that you know? Or the evil that you don't know? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Remember how in my previous video I said to all of you about how Doom Eternal as sequel is comparable to the Fall of the Fear franchise? Here it is. And I will bring you good arguments to why the Fear franchise lost its essence as more games were designed. Let's go back to the first Fear video game and make a short recap in case some of you forgot what the plot of the game is all about. The plot starts with Paxton Fettel, a psychic commander. Here, he is driven mad by visions of apocalypse created by his mother. Or her ghost if you would like. Then Paxton assumes control over the replica forces and starts to butcher everyone at the Origin facility. And he eats people as well. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. We are introduced to the playable protagonist Pointman whose identity is never known to the audience. Thaw of the game we find out that Pointman has super reflexes. His slow motion ability. As we progress through the story we clash with Paxton Fettel who becomes our number one enemy. Oh, and Alma, the ghost girl, of course. She is turning everyone into skeletons. As we keep pushing, Alma constantly contacts us and shows us visions as if she is trying to tell us something. What's the first thing you remember? What's your given name? Where were you born? You have no history. At the end of the game we find out that Paxton Fettel is our brother. And the reason we have superpowers is due to us being part of Project Origin. When Pointman tries to escape, Alma wants her son back and hijacks the plane. And here we are with Fear 2. This is what started the downfall of the Fear franchise. Pointman is left out from the sequel. We actually assume the role of a guy called Beckett who, for some reason has the power to slow time down like Pointman. Even though Pointman was able to do so because he was one of Alma's children. In the game Alma constantly appears to us. And gives us visions just like in Fear 1. But in Fear made sense because we were actually in the shoes of Pointman who was part of Alma's family. There would be zero reason for her to show up to us. The scare factor is excessively used. At this point everything becomes predictable. Fear 2 is a major departure from the series. Sure, it may have the horror elements. But the purpose of it is badly used. The writers for the second game never understood how fear is feeling works in this franchise. A core element of fear is its horror theme, which is heavily inspired by Japanese horror. 
The design team attempted to keep the psychology of the encounter in the player's mind at all times, in order to get under the player's skin, as opposed to the in-your-face monsters jumping out of closets approach. Lead designer Craig Hubbard stated in an interview that horror is extremely fragile, you can kill it by spelling things out too clearly and you can undermine it with too much ambiguity. He remarked that he attempted to strike a balance with the narrative elements of fear, to give players enough clues so that they can form their own theories about what's going on, but ideally, they will be left with some uncertainty. Lead level designer John Mulkey said that creating expectation and then messing with that expectation is extremely important, predictability ruins a scary mood. And, my dear friends, fear too is anything but a fear game. And for some reason in Fear Reborn, which is an expansion patch to Project Origin, Paxton takes over Foxtrot 813's body. But, surprise, surprise. He actually looks like Fettel? At no point are we told that Paxton has the power to manipulate matter. Then, of course we have the end. Where it's just a rape scene mixed with shooting. Whose brilliant idea was to shove such a scene down our throat? For God's sake Alma is a ghost. How the hell could she be capable of having sex with a living person? Right. And if you thought Fear 2 was bad, then Fear 3 takes the cake. It's actually the worst Fear game. So, Pointman is gone from the series. But look, here he is. And now. Look at his face. He looks like a cross between Keanu Reeves and Thomas from Condemned 2. Pointman worked better when he was a masked protagonist. Because his facial features don't express almost anything given he is a silent protagonist. And there is this plot hole. How on earth is Paxton able to possess people when he already inhabits the body of Foxtrot? The second plot hole is the relation between Pointman and Paxton. If you played the first game, you know that Paxton and Pointman never actually grew together. Paxton points out that It's the first thing you remember. What's your given name? Where were you born? You have no history. Fear 1 actually makes it look like they were split at birth instead of the other way around. Fear 3 completely lost its essence. There's no psychological horror anymore. It's just a game where you shoot ghosts for fun. The game attempts at scaring you. But it isn't so effective. Then we have Paxton killing Beckett. You know, the protagonist of the second game, like he was nothing. And Pointman has no reaction whatsoever. Other than exploring their childhood. This game feels like it has no fucking point. Also, the part where we play as Fettel is mischievous. It's not like we actually play with Fettel. It's just a modified pointman, you know cuz enemies can actually see us. They did not even bother to make the game from Paxton's perspective too. Then the game ends with Alma who despite being a ghost is able to birth a child. And depending on your ending you either save the baby as pointman or consuming it as Paxton. The last game is a complete mess. It deviated from the original fear formula. And it introduced lots of plot holes and bizarre concepts such as Alma giving birth to a child. It's as if in this game they actually forgot Alma was just a manifestation or a ghost of the actual Alma Wade. And that Paxton Fettel was just a psychic commander who was able to control replica forces and give pointman illusions with people disappearing or showing himself in this visions. If the creators came and said they were going to do something else with the series. Maybe I would have been more lenient but not when it's an actual sequel to the first entry. Don't get me wrong, on its own, the game is decent. The voice actors and the game mechanics are good. But as direct sequel to Fear 1? It fails by all standards. At this point what we need is a reboot. Reset the series, and if possible bring in back the original team of Fear 1. Maybe in my next video I might discuss about how a Fear reboot could work like. And what studio should be chosen for this task. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any suggestions, please do let me know in the comment section.